Revision of simple equations. The first concept is variable. It is represented by the letters of English alphabets. For example, X, Y, Z and so on. Constant. Something whose value is fixed. For example, 500 and you can write down any number here. Expression. It is formed with the help of variables, constants and arithmetic operators. For example, 3x plus 1, 7y minus 2, 5x by 2 plus 3. All these are the examples of expressions. Equation. It is a condition on the variable. For example, 2x minus 5 equals to 1. It is called an equation. It is a condition on the variable x. A equation has got a equals to sign. This side of the equation is called as the right hand side and this is the left hand side of the equation. Solution. Solution is that value of the variable. When you put it in the equation, the left hand side becomes equals to right hand side. Let us solve this equation and find out the value of the variable. So if I put here the value of x on the left hand side, I put the value of x as 3. So you get 6 minus 5 equals to 1 which is RHS. So at x equals to 3, the LHS becomes equals to RHS. So x equals to 3 is called as a solution of this equation. So here the solution is x is equals to 3 for this equation. Now let us see how to solve an equation. The first method is trial and error method. Here we keep putting the different values of the variable and see whether left hand side is equal to right hand side. When left hand side becomes equal to right hand side means that is the solution of the equation and we have to stop. So let us take this equation 2p minus 1 equals to 23. So in this column let us put the values of p and taking the value of p here as 6. So 2 what is the value of p? 6 minus 1. So 6 into 2 is 12. 12 minus 1 is 11. On right hand side you have 23. So is left hand side equals to right hand side? No. Is it a solution? No. Because the left hand side is not equal to right hand side. Now let us take the value of P here as 10. So let us substitute the value of P as 10. So 2 into P is 10 minus 1. So 20 minus 1 is 19. And on right hand side you have 23. Is left hand side equal to right hand side? No. So it is not the solution of the equation. Now let us take p is equals to 12. So 2 into 12 is equals to 24 minus 1 is 23. So on left hand side you have 23. On right hand side you have 23. So left hand side becomes equals to right hand side. So is it the solution? Yes. So at p equals to 12 you get left hand side equals to right hand side. So, so what is the solution of this equation? P is equals to 12. This method is called trial and error method. Let us take the same equation and understand the systematic method. In this there are certain rules. Whatever number you add on left hand side of the equation, the same number you have to add on the right, of the, right hand of the equation. If you are subtracting any number on left hand side, the same number has to be subtracted on right hand side. If you are multiplying by 2, then other side also you have to multiply by 2. If you are dividing by some number on left hand side, the same number you have to use it to divide on the right hand side as well. And if you interchange left hand side and right hand side, the equation remains the same. So you can do that as well. So let us do it. So here it is minus 1. So we need just the value of P. So here it is minus 1. See so if I... Uh, add 1 then this will be cancelled. So if you are adding here on left hand side you have to add 1 on right hand side. 
so this will be cancelled minus and plus so here on le left hand side it is 2p on right hand side 23 plus 1 is 24 now you have to divide both the sides by 2 because you don't want this 2 here so if you are dividing right hand side left hand side by 2 so you have to divide right hand side also by 2 when you divide this get cancelled and 24 divided by 2 is 12 you got the same answer so whatever operation you are performing with some number same operation you have to perform on the right hand side with the same number now one more method is there to solve equation that is called transpose method or transposition method i am taking the same equation here so here when you change the sign the sign is changed plus becomes minus minus becomes plus uh, multiplication becomes division division becomes multiplication and when you interchange left and right hand side the equation remains the same so 2p i am taking minus 1 from left hand side to right hand side so minus 1 will become plus 1 so this is 24 here it is 2p now here it is multiplied when i take it to the other side it is it will be dividing 24 so 24 divided by 2 that is equal to 12. So the quickest method here is transposition method. Check whether the value given in the brackets is a solution to the given equation. So these are the values you need to check whether this satisfies this equation or not. So let us put the value of the variable on left hand side. Left hand side the expression given to you is p minus 4x. So 3 minus 4, what is the value of x they have given? Minus 2. So 3 minus into minus is plus, 4 into 2 is 8. So 8 plus 3 is 11. And what is on RHS? You have RHS equals to 50. So here LHS is not equals to RHS. So x equals to minus 2 is not the solution of this equation because left hand side is not equals to right hand side that is why now let us put this here on left hand side so left hand side expression is t by 3 so t is 18 18 by 3 is equals to 6 which is equals to right hand side so here you got left hand side is equals to right hand side so t equals to 18 is the solution of the equation so like this we check whether a particular given number is a solution or not give the steps you will use to separate the variable and then solve the equation that means they are looking for the systematic method so here we don't want plus 7 so what are we going to do we are going to take away 7 so if you are taking away 7 on left hand side, you have to take 7 on right hand side. So this will be cancelled. Here you are left with 5m. 17 minus 7 is 10. Now you have to divide both the sides by 5 because you don't want 5. So let us divide both the sides by 5. So when you divide both the sides by 5, this will be cancelled. Here it is m. 10 divided by 5 is Two. So, what is the solution of this equation? M is equals to 2. Now, let us solve this. So, here you don't want 20 by 3. So, straight away you can divide both the sides by 20 by 3. Or you can do it 1 by 1. You can first divide by 20. Then you can multiply by 3. I am going to do it all together. So, I am going to divide both the sides by 20 by 3. So, this is 20 by 3 into p i am going to divide this by 20 by 3 so this side also i am going to divide by 20 by 3 you know how, what, how to divide it so 20 by 3 into p division changes to multiplication you need to take the reciprocal of this number similarly here 
division change to multiplication you need to take the reciprocal of 20 by 3 that is 3 by 20 so you can see you can cancel all these numbers so here you have p and you can cancel 20 and 40 this is 2 2 into 3 is 6 so p equals to 6 is the solution of this equation now set up an equation and solve them to find the unknown numbers in the following cases one fifth of a number minus four gives three this is one fifth of a number let us assume that number to be say x so one fifth of a number is one fifth of means multiplication a number is x one fifth of a number minus four gives is equals to 3. So now you need to solve this. So what I am going to do is I don't want minus 4. I will take it to the other side. I am going to use transpose method now. This is x by 5. Minus 4 goes to the other, other side, right hand side. It becomes plus 4. So now I don't want 5. Here it is dividing this number. Then it will multiply that number. 7. Or you can say you can cross multiply. This is 4 plus 3 is 7. This 5 is cross multiplied. So it comes here. And so what is the value of x? x is equal to 30. Other things of a number. So let that number be y. He adds 19 to it. So he thinks of a number. Say y. He adds 19 to it. So he is adding 19. And divide the sum. This is the sum. He divides the sum by 5. He will get that means equals to 8. So here it is dividing the number. Then it goes to the other side. It will multiply this. Or you can say in other words you can cross multiply also. So y plus 19 is equals to 8 into 5. So y is equals to. 8 into 5 is 40. This plus 19 goes to the other side. So it will become minus 90. So y is equal to 40 minus 19 is 21. Now let us take this question. Find three consecutive numbers whose sum is 69. Three consecutive numbers means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the next number is one more greater than the previous number. So if I assume one number to be x, then the other number is x plus 1. And then the next consecutive number will be x plus 1 plus 1. So this is nothing but x plus 2. So sum of all these three is 69. So x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 is equals to 69. So x plus x plus x is 3x. 2 plus 1 is 3. That is equals to 69. So 3x plus 3 taken to the right hand side. From left hand side it becomes minus. 69 minus 3 is 66. Here it is 3x. So here it is multiplied. When it goes to the other side it will be dividing 66. So 66 divided by 3 or you can say you can cross multiply. Same thing. So 66 divided by 3 is 22. From solution to equation. Frame three equations for the solution n equals to minus 5. So you have solved so many questions and you have seen for every simple equation there is only one solution. Now let us see if you are given one solution, how many equations can you frame? So here they have asked you to frame three equations when m is equal to minus 5. So m is equal to minus 5. We start from here. So if I add here plus 2, then you have to add here also 2. Both the sides I have added 2. So minus 5 plus 2 is minus 2 and here m plus 2. So this is one equation. 
let us make one more equation m is given equals to minus 5 so now let us divide both the sides by 5 so when you divide both the sides by 5 you will get m by 5 equals to minus 5 by 5 so minus 5 by 5 is minus 1 here you have m by 5 now i am going to add 1 to both the sides so what do you get here m by 5 plus 1 equals to this will be cancelled you will get 0 this is the second equation like this you can perform so many operations so let us do one more m is equals to minus 5 so what are we going to do now uh, let us multiply both the sides so i am multiplying here by 2 so on left hand side i have multiplied by 2 so on right hand side also i will multiply by 2 so this is 2m is equals to minus 10 so now I am going to add 5 on left hand side and right hand side both. So here it is minus 10. Minus 5 into 2 is minus 10. I have added 5. So I am going to add 5 on right hand side. So 2m plus 5 equals to minus 10 plus 5 is minus 5. This is the third equation. They ask you to find three equations. So like this you can perform any operation out of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division with so many numbers. So for one equation, you have only one solution. But when one solution is given, you can frame infinite equations. Solve the following. So here you have to solve this. You can use distributive property, open the bracket and solve. But you can see 6 is a factor of 18. So what I am going to do, I am going to take 6 to the other side. Here it is multiplied. So when you take it to the other side, it will be dividing this number. So 18 divided by 6 is 3. Here you have t minus 2. Minus 2 taken to the other side from left hand side to right hand side. Minus 2 will become plus 2. So 3 plus 2 is equals to 5. This is the solution of this equation. Now let us solve this question. Here you can see 6 and 7. There is nothing, common, no common factor there. So you have to apply distributive property here and open the bracket. So 6 into x is 6x plus, because both the signs are plus, 6 into 1 is 6 equals to 7 into x is 7x plus into minus is minus 7 into 2 is 14. So variables on one side. So what I am going to do, I am going to take plus 6x to the other side. So it becomes minus 6x. Here it is plus 6x minus 14 taken to the other side becomes plus 14. So here 7x minus 6x is x. 14 plus 6 is 20. You know when you can interchange completely the left hand side and right hand side, the equation remains unchanged. So the value of x is equals to 20. Now let us take this question. x by 2 equals to minus x minus 2. So here x is divided by 2. When you take to, to the 2 to the other side, it is going to be multiplied. So x is equals to 2 into minus x minus 2. So you have to apply distributive property here. 2 into minus x is minus 2x. 2 into minus 2 is minus 4. Here it is x minus 2x taken to the left hand side from right hand side. It becomes plus 2x and here minus 4. So 2x plus x is 3x equals to minus 4. Here 3 is multiplied. Then when you change from left hand side to right hand side, it will be dividing minus 4. So answer is x is equals to minus 4 by 